It is a sport. The dogs have to be athletes because they have a regimen of, of exercise that has to be done. It's the second oldest sporting event in the country except the Derby. And just the sheer being there and, and the noise and also the vibration in the floor from the noise, it's really an amazing experience. 71 dogs from the Chicagoland area are entered in this year's Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. The event has become so big that last year's winner, Uno the Beagle, took a whirlwind tour around the country, including visits to the White House, a baseball game, and numerous movie previews. Yeah, doggone it, Gail. After two amazing performances by LeBron and Kobe at the Garden this week, who knows what we might see. <laughs> you can cut the tension with a knife right now as the big event nears. Our local stars give us a glimpse into the lives of show dogs. Everybody wants to win Westminster. That's, that's everybody's dream. You know, it's, it's the dream that you're taught to want to achieve. Stella! My father always told me, he said, I don't care what you do in life, just be happy doing it. Just thinking about it gives you goosebumps. I need them to be whole. I guess. We have the Basset Hound. Champion Topsfield Vision Silver Noodles. We call her Noodles. Good girl, Noodles! And the Japanese Chin, we have Champion Chindale's work of art, that's Pico. You're supposed to see a small amount of white on their eyes, usually in the corners of the eyes. And that's to give them a, a look of astonishment. And that's, that's very important when judging them. This is a treadmill called Jog a Dog. And so this is used to make them physically able to do the rigors of being a show dog. Here comes Noodles, the number one Basset Hound, the top winning female of all time as a five-year-old. A Basset Hound has never won Best in Show at Westminster. May I have the Beagle? Yes, the Beagle! <laughs> Noodles is greatest winning dog in 2008 ranked number 18 we're in a good position for everybody there's there's the Super Bowl or um, I always find it kind of funny you know when somebody will win something or you know I'm going to Disney World it's the same thing and this is champion Divine's streetcar named Desire and we call her Stella to have a dog even be able to go to the garden to be to be good enough to to have you know to present them there is just an excitement an absolute excitement it is an extreme thrill for anybody to stand on the floor of madison square garden at any time during the day let alone in the spotlights in the evening competition and say i'm standing where presidents have stood i'm standing where muhammad ali fought i'm standing here where mick jagger is sung and I'm on the same stage. And that's a thrill for what makes the dog show so exciting is that, that you can experience that thrill. The Spinoni Italiano, number 23. <laughs> you have to visualize where you want to be. It's just up to us to get the dog looking good enough to get to that level. And I'm the one that's getting everything out of that dog needed to make it look the best on the day to win. What do you see in front of me? You see a big blue ribbon. It's right here in front of you. You want it? You come and you grab it. You get it. She's you not listening ribbon. to you. She's no, She's freaking well, out. Well, get the busy bee. You want your busy bee. It's a parody, but it, I mean, I know at least one of each one of those people. <laughs> I truly do. Look at his face. Could he be sweeter or more loving? We can put a name to every face in that movie. It is so on the mark. <laughs> For the most part, the satisfaction of working with the animals and making them happy and, and creating, bringing things out on them has been the true drive for doing this job. There should be nothing that that dog needs on the day, and it's my job and, and my passion to make sure they have everything they need to be at the peak performance level. It's nerve-wracking, but at the same time, such a, a, a good feeling to know that, that all my years of, of breeding and showing come to this kind of fruition. This is the big game, it's the big dance, so all we can do is hope. 
Noodles may have a leg up with all that treadmill training. Oh, that's more than I've walked in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> noodles looks pretty good. I'm putting my money on noodles. Our thanks to Sarah Locke for putting that piece together. We'll look forward to uh, the results of the show next week.